Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the unconventional attorney, the owner of CMS Law Firm. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how taking a break is not good, it doesn't help. Um, before I get to that though, I want to remind you, if you like this, if you get any enjoyment out of this, if you learn something from this, please share it with someone. Um, you know, the goal here is to help all you law firm owners move forward, to realize your dreams, to do all of those fun things that you wanna do. And, um, you know, if you think it might help somebody, forward this to them, okay? Cool. All right, so taking a break doesn't help. And if you are a regular listener, you may have noticed that I, I made no videos for like a whole week. Probably the first week that I went without making any videos, um, either unconventional attorney or law firm videos in, I don't know, a couple of years. And I just, um, it wasn't really on purpose. I was in Cabo for, um, of, you know, five days doing the, um, doing the quarterly sanctuary meeting. And then I got home and each of my kids had parent teacher conferences. So it was only half days. So I was like, like really working, work, 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 pick up the kids and kids, 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 work, 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 kids, kids, kids. I had my car blow up, which maybe I'll make a, I'll make another video about that tomorrow about my car getting jacked up, I had to get a new car, I had to rent a car, I had to get a car from Turo, I had to do all this craziness, and and so I did not make a video. Um, and I also have sort of slacked off from going to the gym because I was in Cabo, and it was amazing. And I was thinking about that today in in context of whether or not breaks are good. And, and I'm not saying that you should never take a break, um, but I think you should choose some things that are healthy habits, that are lifestyle habits, that you should want to do all the time. Um, when I was in Cabo, I did run one day, um, but there was a time when I was working out very, very consistently. I was reading consistently. I was making videos consistently. All of these things that don't really take a lot of time in the grand scheme of things, um, but they make you feel really good over time. Also waking up early, not waking up as early, as I should be. Um, I will tell you, my, my business is still crushing, which is kind of um, um, awesome, but it doesn't feel as good, right? Because I, I, don't, um, I don't feel as good, like personally, and I know that I'm, I'm sort of leaving some things on the table that I wanna try to take advantage of, that I wanna try to get done. And so, you know, when you, I guess this, the, the, whole, the main point of this is just to be wary of taking time off. When I talk to people about content creation, about anything related to lifestyle design, my sort of uh, stance is to always try to create things and situations that you can carry out for, for a very, very long time. You know, instead of making 10 videos in a day and waiting for three months, I would prefer that you make one video a week, like at the same time, every week, for as long as you live. You're just going to see better results from that. You know, it's better if you can find a, a workout routine that gets you in the gym three days a week than to go for three days in a row and then to not do anything for three months. And sometimes we can, um, we don't realize how, how good the bad habits feel until we uh, participate in them. And so I wanted to really just talk about that, my own experience. I was thinking about that and, um, <clears throat> you know, it's part, part of, um, part of testing things out, you know, I traveled a bunch in January and February is going to be a little bit lighter, a lot lighter. So the uh, ability to get back on track, but it's way harder to get back on track than to stay on track. So if you are feeling lazy, if you feel like you're needing to take a break, what I would try to do is, is maybe find a way to throttle down a little bit, but not stop. So that way you can keep going um, over the long haul because it's the person that shows up consistently day after day after day, week after week, that's gonna see those results. You know, I'm a living testament to that. I've seen uh, law firm owners do it many, many times. I've seen people in other businesses do it many, many times. It's the, the people that can show up consistently over time are the ones that are gonna win, okay? So do not allow yourself to take those breaks, those long breaks. Don't allow yourself to get lazy. Don't allow yourself to slack off, create lifestyle habits that you can you can keep up with forever. And um, I'm about to head out of here and go to the gym today because I woke up this morning, my alarm went off, and I was like, I could really use some more sleep. 
I'm getting over a cold. I just talked myself into it. And so don't do that. All right. That is the moral of the story today. Hopefully you have been killing it. Hopefully uh, 2022 has been good for you. The year is already 8.5% over, you know, one twelfth over as of today. So um, get after it. That's it. All right. As always, if you like this show, hit the like button. If you're a place you can subscribe, hit the subscribe button. If you are not on my newsletter list and you don't want to, you don't want to miss it, theunconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter. I send some out every week. It's good. It's amazing. I'm not trying to sell you much, much of the time, 99% of the time. So get on that list. There's extra good stuff in there, right? That is it. As always, I am Christopher Small. I am the unconventional attorney. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. I will talk to you again soon. See ya.